What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Now, last week we did one trial with um, Ethan, or Nathan, I can't remember his name. So now we're back with Madison. I called those earlier last time because I could not remember it to fucking save my life of me. Who the fuck this was? So, in the end, here we are. I don't know what her cause is in all of this. I don't, I've not seen any... So it's Nathan Mar Ethan Mars then. Right. I don't know why we're here then. I think I don't I don't know why she's here. She's just like a passerby in all of this. I think she's only literally in it just for the love interest. I'm not too sure. You look sleazy as fuck. Very sleazy. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Being a bit creepy. You're being very creepy. I know I've been here for a while. That's very creepy, just looking like that. Madison, page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Oh, oh, okay. I just saw Mr. Ethan over there. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. No, we don't want to go back inside. We want to go up the stairs and talk to Ethan. Because we want to get these characters interacting, apparently. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Would you stop? Every time you do that, you freaking mess some bullshit up, you do. Right. I'm not comfortable. Bike's not straight. Did you say 201? I have to go up again, right? I don't know how to get up again. I'll find something. I'll find something. None of these doors are mine. Why do you do that? That is not a human. No, that is not a human thing to do to wrap yourself up in this kind of shit when you are cold. I went round in a fucking circle, didn't I? Is he in two hundred and two or two hundred and three or something? That's two hundred and two, two hundred and three. Sir, are you all right? There we go. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Which is somewhere. I just saw 204, so I'm thinking it's at the end. Come on, Ethan. Who am I controlling now? Both of them? You don't have a concussion. That's what you're trying to deal with at the moment. Right, that's 202, 203, 204, 205. We're missing 206 somewhere here, lady. Have you got the key? There we go. Here we go. Let's get inside. Let's get him all wrapped up and nice and warm and cozied. I'm going a little bit pale. There you go. You get yourself sit down there, lad. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Dislocation anywhere? Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Well, it would do. I was in a fucking car crash. Hospitals only slow you down. You need some painkillers, don't you, Mr. Ethan? Let me go get you some. The controls in this freaking game are wonky as shit. I saw that one. Nope, that one. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Well, I I, I saw paracetamol, but, you know. Bitch, fucking gobble up, motherfucker. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. You're not a doctor. 
could knock him out for all you know. to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. <laughs> well, not you done. Bye. <laughs> nope. Apparently she wants to stay. Alright, now what do we do? What's this? I should disinfect his cuts. Uh, wow, you literally going to have everything in this drawer? What's this one? Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. I don't think he's ill. How about this one? What's this one going to tell Nicofrin us? Nicofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Yep, you'll need that. But first, we need the woundy wound one. This one. I should disinfect his cuts. Now you need a tissue. Or are you going to do this? Just, just going to glog it on him? Drown him in it? There you go. Look at how some of this dub dub. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. By a little, she means a lot, mate. I know, we we both know this. We both know this is going to sting like a biatch. Like, very badly. If you get if she gets in the right spot, it's gonna fucking hurt. We know it's like a freaking wiping your face on with a baby bell. There, at least it won't get infected. Thanks. Now what else do you need? I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. That ain't happening. Right. I'm gonna take a shower. Gonna right. fucking hurt, you know. Let me help you. Come on. Off we go. Well, limpy. I'll get you in this little cupboard. What is in that fucking cupboard? I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Why are you just staying with a stranger? For all you know, you could. You don't know where he's been. Don't go perving. Creep. No, we're not gonna do that. We're Talk just gonna to chill. Me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Jeffrey. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. What can we go with? Profession. I'm a photographer. Oh. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I. I'm an architect. A little bit of a pause there. Was an architect? Do you mean? You done? I don't think this character knows how to breathe. She seems to be very breathing very heavily. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Sometimes the voice acts a little bit bad in this one okay. too. It better get going then. By the way, you never told me your name. Jacob. Ethan. Close enough. Be careful, Ethan. I should have said Nathan, because that's what I keep on calling him. <laughs> oh, well. Let him pass by. Oh! Um. Okay, trial number fucking two, then, apparently. Let's go for it. We don't need no more of these. Oh, the shoebox. Of course, I knew what I was going for. <coughs> Let's have a track at, crack at this one then. <clears throat> Literally puts him down. To a near death experience and now I can't breathe. <coughs> Sorry about that. Something was lodged in my throat. And this is the money one. I think. Oh. The fake. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant and embrace defeat. Let's go. 
And we'll try and do all five of them. He's going through a very hard time at this time and moment. More than the time being. Let's go see what happens now then. Are we moving over to uh, the man? Called it. Called it. We'll do this one as well. Because 10 minutes is too short. <clears throat> I can change it to 13 if it's 13. But 10? Nah. It's too short for that shit. Can we control him? No. Okay. His eyes look very liquidized. Might want contacts. Well, they might have to for a freaking. for his Ari. Okay, what are we doing next? We're gonna get along well, Blake. Don't worry about it, boy. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you? Shoot. If I saw a gun, I would have I shot. I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. <laughs> I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? I call me. I can't just fuck with anything. What do you fuck off, you yeah, boy? <laughs> Got you under my finger now, biatch. That's him. Let's go. Fucking busted. I, I had to press both for some reason. Stop, biatch. Like good cop, bad cop, all over again. You're a slap quarter. Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Gonna break out in a run. See what he was doing. I pressed the. I pressed fucking right. Flick up. Nope. Ne never mind. I can't. Apparently my control is not working today for some known reason. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Triangle. Aha! I know that move. Aha! I know that button. Yeah. Good thing I'd freaking used to both. Okay, why didn't they work before them? Was it too slow or something? Aha! I got ready that time. I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, fuck you, bitches. Yeah, fuck you, bitches. You can't get me, boy. I'm too good for you. Press all buttons. Whoops. Oh, nailed the Costco machine. Whoop. Got skills for days, boy. You're gonna throw a fucking button at me in a minute, aren't you? I knew you were. Sorry, sir. I pressed both. I don't know which way to go. Over the counter. Oh, freaking tackle him. Tackle him. Boom! Nailed it, bitch. Fucking good night, Vienna. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Gonna bring it into a song in a minute. Oh, boy, boy. Fucking version 5 of the system. Go away, you. Chickens. Fuck the lot in you. Jesus Christ. Get the fuck away from me, bird. Come on, bitch. I'm, I'm after you now. Uh oh, meat hooks. Hmm. We need Ari for this. Let's go. Oh. God almighty, it's so hard to move. He's attacked, so te te therefore I can shoot. He ran. We'll get him. Simple as that. No idea where he's going to be, though. Oh, he found me. Whoops. Alright. Ignore the fucking meat hook. There we go. Now we can actually get arrested for this. Or attacked. And we can shoot. I know the American laws. I can sock him on now, bitch. Oh, you're gonna try and take down a fucking cop with ninja skills? No, not in bro scream. Fucking have it, mofo. I'm gonna freaking clobber this in your head. I'm gonna bury it for you. Also, I'm gonna freaking ram this meat down your throat. Oh, the, I like all the, all the ice textures. Nice. <clears throat> nope. Fucking ninja. Have that, bitch. Yeah, now you're under arrest for the suspicion of murder and for attacking a police officer.
This time it looks like we got our origami killer. No, we haven't. Nope, he didn't do it. Where the fuck did that go now? I had it a second ago. Where the fuck did it go? It blends in. It blends in. Don't give a fuck about you. You can go away. But anyway, that is all we've got time for, for today with this video of Heavy Rain. We have had now a little bit of a juncture today. Madison has just been in the game for being in the game at this point again. I, I've never actually managed this before, but I've never actually seen her be any significant part of the game yet. I understand why he's in it. I understand why the other cop's in it. I understand why Ethan's in it. But Madison, I've got no fucking idea why she's in it. But either way, I'm going to leave it there for today. And I'm going to leave you with Young and Hopeless by Good Charlotte. Enjoy. I'm young and I'm hopeless. I'm lost and I know this. I'm going nowhere fast, that's what they say.